Hello, good morning. Good morning. Thanks. What was that, Taylor? I uh, just said greetings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me start sharing the screen and um. Okay, uh, it is five minutes after the hour, so probably we can just start. Um, any additional items to the agenda? So, if not, um, let's try to review what we have. And um, probably I have mentioned before, like, uh, the different events that we have it for regarding telcos. So um, just if you have the opportunity, try to um, to attend all, all, some of them. So any any news about the cloud cloud native telco day, uh, Lucina or Taylor? Uh, so you, you know something new or um i don't have anything new just that the 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 CF, cfp was closed right and the only the only one which is open is the the one summit uh, in Seattle. Mm hmm Okay. I think so. Um, Good okay. morning. Yeah, the um, CFPs have closed. The program committee is reviewing them, and the schedule will be announced on Tuesday, September 13th. Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you, Lucina. 
You're welcome. Okay, well, regarding the PRs, uh, do we have something new? Um, that see we have only to, to do this. Um, so the first one or the other ones, the other, the other one is from Jeff. Uh, I think that we haven't done too much progress on this. Oh, I mean, besides the feedback that he has received. Um, so, do we have to do something like a... I mean, he has some LinkedIn issues or words which are not in the word list. Um, other than that, I don't know if he has addressed some of the comments. So what do you think uh, we should, should we ping uh, Jeff to, to know what is happening with this one or by the yeah. way I'm I'm sharing my screen or like okay I guess um, yeah we should just ping Jeff in order to, to see what is happening with his um, pull request. The other one is regarding um, uh, recording. Um, so this is from Ian. Um, it's been open for a while, so probably he has to be also uh, close this one or like or, or address all the, the feedback. Is there anything left on this one? Um, Other than the linting? Well, he has some suggestions that uh, he haven't addressed those. Um, so I don't know if we can just accept them and, or I mean, it seems like or just few few then let me just check there. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, and yeah, you know, there. <laughs> Yeah, there are several. So what do you think, Taylor? Should we just proceed and is that all of, the, all of these or like just... Yeah, I mean, if I think at least that one, um, the air gap I messaged Jeffrey on, but um, if we can, on the best practice, if we can close it out ourselves, that would be 
All right. Because for example, this, uh, well, I haven't reviewed it, uh, but this seems to be changing a little bit the template that we have, right? I don't know if, if in the template we have marked this as mandatory or, um, or it's just a suggestion that he's making uh, on this specific. Mm -hmm. I think he's suggesting it and we need to update the template separately and uh, and the process for suggesting a best practice. I think that would be where something like that would go in versus um, modifying a pull request for a specific practice or suggestion. Mm -hmm. Is that, that is part of the template. I would just say that should be a separate PR. Yeah, that's it was wondering, but doesn't seem to be here. Or not, or at least not in this template. Situation. Um, yeah, I think he's suggesting to add it, maybe. Or are you saying there's not even an optional? But I, I was, I mean, where are, are these template defined? Because it's not. This one, it's in the, oh, this is use case, sorry. Yeah, so it's optional there in the mm -hmm. template. So I think we should just add a comment to do for that to be a pull request against the template. And or it can also, you know, he could open an issue or whatever, but let's not add it to this one. Like something like that, right? Yeah, and then just say open a new um, pull request and or um, issue. Yeah. We just like uh, resolve this conversation because. Uh... Yeah. That one's hard to see without seeing the whole thing, but I think they're, he's trying to make it more a stronger than the suggestion, like it's a required type of thing. This one? That's what it looks like. Hmm. It's not for that particular one wasn't 
just a choice of words that doesn't change the meaning. So I don't think it can be switched, just switched out. What about this one? Are you writing down something? No, I'm I'm looking at your screen. Okay. That's a whole lot. I don't want to change this. I think we ignore it. Go on to the next. This is all part of the same suggestion. So let's just go on from that. It's a, it's a, I don't know. We start getting down to preferences and the wording and then some of it can change what it was intended. Um, all right, should there be a what level of compliance? Well, if the test compliance, exactly how and why and what level you're compliant. Well, that's fine, except I don't think we're documenting that. I mean, I yes, like communicating what level, how, how many best practices that you're following versus choosing not to follow is fine. That's a good idea. Um, the other ones, the other ones should be close or solve it. Just leave it. It won't. I mean, okay. I don't like to resolve it unless we're putting a comment to s communicate to do something else. Mm -hmm. It's kind of just an open one. And it'll show open later if once the PRs merge. This is related with the previous one, right? Because I uh, mentioned about the yeah, it's kind of weird how it's separated like that, but the, they could have, I think he just didn't put it together. He could have put the suggest edit and then a comment, but mm -hmm. he did them separately. Um, I mean, I guess this isn't terrible to put at what level? Um, the compliant, the best practice compliance recording is about communicating here are the ones that we're following and here are the ones that we didn't follow and what reason. So in that sense, you are saying what level. It's more of, is someone going to interpret that to mean it's like a test and you hit certain levels. That'd be why I would hesitate to put this. There's no, this isn't the test. I'd say leave it alone. Don't, unless, you know, do you, do you think we should add that or just leave it? Or anyone else have opinions on that? I mean, later we are we going to have later like an example like I don't know. Yeah, I don't I don't remember what's in here with. But for now, let's leave it as as it is and let's double check the. All right. Answer. I mean, someone can always come back and go, no, this really should change. And then they add more details, which would be helpful, especially when they're not on the call, Ankai or Ian. All right, let's see the next one. This should be a suggestion or why he would like to It's comment. context, and I don't know if the next, no, the next part doesn't have a suggestion. But not why compliance is not possible. Uh, 
He didn't put a suggest at it. It's just conversation. Let's move on. Yeah, but it also seems like you clarify the, the point, yeah. right? So I guess mm -hmm. it is resolved or like... Yeah, sure. Yeah, sounds good. He could have resolved it. It's all right. I, I think um, Ian said something about this. It's talking about NFV in a general sense and not like a, a specific thing. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't think it's a typo. I think it's intentional. Yeah. Oh, interesting. That's fine. Pankai responded to Oliver. That could be resolved. This one? Yeah. The similar thing here, right? Like um... Yeah. And Pankai is trying to talk about it as related to a specific NFV implementation. And Ian was using the more general concept of in those type of environments. So I don't want to change what Ian's meaning was. I think Ian would need to do something and he's had enough time. So let's move on. Leave it as is. Well, that's a major change and it didn't happen or maybe it did and we didn't resolve it. So move on to the next. Let's just see the suggest edit. The, co the components and press may be, may likely be, their components will be, may likely be. It's just nitpicking on the wording. During that journey, their components and processes will be imperfect. It's <laughs> it's funny that the may likely be imperfect is there. It went from strongly, it will be, we know it will be, to it's still not, it might be, it's may likely, it's still indicating it's a likely thing. It barely reduced the strength of that sentence. And it made it less personal by saying their components. And their I components are um, the components of what? Of, um... Um, the components of the applications that are following the best practices. So this is talking about the a CNF, which could be, a, you know, a, if we think of NFV world, a VNF could be one small service, or it may be a whole set of um, different pieces that provide multiple network services. It's a more complex type of setup, like a transparent firewall is one thing, but a charging 5G charging application has a lot of different pieces. So I think that's what you're referring to. So when you're building a CNF and talking about um, following applications, so this is saying, this is this whole paragraph is talking about what, what, what are we doing here? So we're trying to help people improve their implementation of these CNFs. We want to help people do that. So during the journey, we expect that different components will not be perfect. They will be imperfect. 
Yeah, in that sense, at least for me, uh, it's better to use there. Yeah, I agree. I'm fine with leaving it as the input. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Um, if someone wants to come in and show that they had a perfect CNF, I just don't see that as a problem where they're mad that we said that it was imperfect in our document. <laughs> All right, what's next? Both software and process, both at the software and process level. Okay, that's a grammar thing. I trust Ian usually on grammar, but you know, some of it's just the British English, how he's gonna come across. So if anyone well, feels strongly, go ahead. Definitely not, that's not my strongest thing. <laughs> so I can rely on what, what do you suggest? I mean, for me, Mac, I'd I leave. Know. I just don't care about that one. Let's move on. It didn't help a whole lot. It didn't make it clearer or anything to me. So it's just more of a choice. And for a choice, I'm not going to change someone else's words. And and it is not change the the, the the meaning, right? Like um, it didn't change the meaning. It didn't change the meaning, and it for me, it didn't make it clearer one way or the other. So I think we leave it to whatever the original writer's preference was, in my opinion. If we had one consistent English style across all of it, then maybe it would make sense. But I haven't seen someone try to do that. So I think that Prakash is, us, is referring to this as it's in number one, right? Yeah, he can come in and do it. I mean, I I also don't care. Like, there's no, there's no numbers. It's a bullet list. If we're going to, you know, number them or you want to put it at the top and make it bold. But why he's referring to uh, this file? Yeah, why Is that he... what that was? The readme? Yeah, the read me and did you... oh no, that number one no, that's that's just GitHub um, oh. automatically turning the pound one into that. That's all. It shouldn't be a link. Okay. So. He, he's saying that he really likes that one non-goal a lot and wants to make sure that people follow it. Yeah, sounds good. Add a single comment and resolve it. this is in some ways just grammar choices um ian is really talking about when a team might be able to follow a best practice in theories but maybe a requirement or some other reason don't allow them to do it like you may understand a best practice and you can't follow it for some other reason versus just saying it just happens not be perfect so i say leave it mm -hmm. he, he is also saying that i can resolve it okay just resolve it Bye bye. The same, like sounds good. Uh, 
Um, just removing the lace. Grammar again. I don't think it matters. Their compliance. If you're reviewing how you comply, it, it's whether it's in a list or you have sticky notes all over your office. It doesn't really matter. Reviewing the compliance is the important part. Um, okay, we're not specifying when it is implicit that it depends on the teams. I guess that's true. But his suggestion is we don't really say when that's going to happen. But even if we change that for uh, periodicity, periodicity um, we have to specify how often, right? Like um, weekly or like um, monthly. I mean, if, if we are going to make it more um, deterministic, I think that we have to say like when those periods has to happen, right? Right. I would just leave it. Yeah. He's saying we don't talk about teams and the structures, but all of the software development is, you just say it's always by a team, even if it's a team of one. There's some group that's working on, and especially for saying telecom applications. Even if it's one person, it's one person, a company working on one, and then, you know, that firewall, and then someone else is working on a whole nother set of people. It works. What do we have? Um, just removing encoded. Uh, for names. Um, encoded for names. I mean, whatever. I think he's doesn't know. What do we mean when we say encoded? I don't know. Does anyone else have a problem with encoded? I'm okay with removing it or leaving it. I think it's fine. I mean, it doesn't change the meaning. I ha I'm my background is technical enough for over the you know encoded i get what it was intended when ann puts it so it's really does it make it more clear for people coming in that are trying to follow best practices because we go back to the who is our audience it's the people implementing cnfs and the processes around management of them does it make it more or less clear to remove? Well, well, the other thing is like, if we leave us in code, uh, should we need to provide the, the rules or like the, the, the format that has to follow or like? No. Not for this. Okay. I mean, it does it. Making records conveniently machine readable. Simple booleans helps consumers in filtering these. And it doesn't say what that is. Some of this is, it's leaving it open. We're not trying to provide the format that's required. It's saying it should be easy enough for people to consume this. Yeah, because the other one could be like a, what is a different type of, uh, like camel case or, um, I don't know, this yeah. snake for Right, so this is really saying, if you look at the paragraph above, so if, if you had a text file that had 
a list of the best practices and it says, you know, like equals compliant, equals compliant, non-compliant or yes, no. I mean, it's, it's, that's why I'm saying like CSV, there's that. It could be a text file with an equal sign. It's some way that allows you to check that. So if you're using the CNF test suite, it provides something like this. If you were created your own, it's, it's essentially saying you shouldn't provide something like a binary format file that's only readable by that one company. The idea with this is that someone can come in and look and see, does your CNF follow best practices? So I think in that case, we can just leave it. All right. That was the last one. Oh, yeah. This is in the read me. I don't think that matters. This is a pair uh, English paragraph communicating what we're trying to do here. Using best practices, CNF should be compliant, et cetera, et cetera. And then it says why you're not following the best practices, whether you have mitigations in place and so on. It's English communicating saying if you're fault if you're not following best practices then you should document that's what this entire pr is about you should document what you follow and when you don't you should communicate why you're not following them and how your you know software is handling those type of issues so maybe you're using root in a process and you want to say why you're having to use it for that particular component and what you're doing to prevent any type of security issues. Maybe you've isolated that one container and it doesn't have access to the namespace of other containers or something like that. That's all this talking about. I don't, I think it's a non-issue. We don't need to change it and there's no suggestion at it so i definitely don't want to do anything it was all the, it's six months ago in january or more than six months ago yeah and also like if we get one to specify something more specific maybe we can create like another pr for just for mitigations absolutely uh so the only one which uh we even for was um it was this one yeah i think so it is the only the only comment that you just accepted or like I'm good with it either way. The recording is going to communicate what level. And there's the PR is only asking for a general recording. It's not so specific that we're going to end up with. Here is the level of compliance that has a your gold compliant or your you've reached level eight in compliance there is no specific level so i don't think that's the suggestion is required but it's also fine if it's there 
Do you have an opinion on it? Or does anyone? Uh, have... No. Um, I don't know. The rest. Uh... What's on, Rich? Um, Lucina, real. All right, I don't hear anybody else, so let's leave it. So go, let's go ahead and, and accept this. Let's get this PR in. I'm gonna. Today, I'll do a review and do a plus one on that one. So Go do ahead. we need at least another one? Uh, we lower that number to three approvals or how many? Add your review. Can we get another is plus one from folks on this call? Here's the link. We want to close it out. Um, I don't see Rich listed in this list of reviewers. I don't know if we can have him. Um, maybe. It's okay if we get a plus, a thumbs up, plus one. Looks good to me in the comments. Rich? Yeah, I can add a comment. Thank you. I'm getting you access, Rich, but it'll take me a minute. No worries. Is your F5 email good? Or uh, is it tied to GitHub? No. I just did an invite. Okay. I gave a thumbs up on it. Thanks. Should I just merge the pull request? What, how many did we get? Uh, four. Uh, Looks good. Great. The last thing yeah, I go ahead. Oh, no, no, it's merge. Great. Um, so the last thing that I was thinking is about the interesting parties. Um, so maybe, Rich, if you are not in this list, you can also send your pull request and be part of uh, this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, this also ties in with it, um, you know, besides communicating and showing an interest there. This is tied to governance stuff. So there's some things where you need to be listed as either an individual or for the company um, before you can engage in some of the governance stuff. There's okay. some timing around it as well. All right, um, so let's keep, that's, that's it, right? Um, I think that's it. So I will try to fix uh, some of the 
issues that we have here. Um, another PR. Um, yeah, there are those are men, uh, minor things. Okay, well, it's time to conclude. Anything else to, to this? Um, any missing point? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Good to go. Um, unless anyone has any other comments. Rich, you got anything? Nope. All right. Maybe we can see some best practice ideas if from F5. Think about them and share them in the future. Okay. Sure will. Thanks, everyone. Have a good one. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Yep, thanks.